What's up guys, H. To Marshall here with the Tech Cruiser channel. So Apple had its big announcement the other day, a couple of days ago, I think it was like three days ago, four days ago. Anyways, um, Apple has since come out with iBooks. Um, basically the days of carrying around a 40 pound backpack filled with all the books and notebooks and stuff for your for your classes are over. Um, iBooks basically puts your textbooks in digital format so that you can access them on your iPad or your iPhone. Um, a lot of universities already have switched over to iPads and are seeing pretty good results um, from that move. Now, I remember the days, you know, carrying a backpack, you had, you know, four or five textbooks and notebooks and binders all in there. This thing weighed a ton. Um, this is awesome because uh, it, it's going to help reduce costs for books. Um, as, as we all know, going to, going to school is, is expensive, but the books are the most annoying part um, because the resale value and what do you do with a shelf full of books uh, that you're never going to use again. So this will hopefully eliminate a lot of that uh, with iBooks. You can sync it right into your iTunes account, plug in your uh, your iPhone or your, your iPad and have your, have your tech books ready to go in a fairly small compact format. Uh, it makes, can make it easier to um, to lug around campus. Uh, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to um, to find, like the teacher says, hey, turn to page 23. Yes, it's not a really difficult task. However, um, it's, it's going to be that much easier. Just swipe across, get to it, and you're done. It's also going to make... Um, basically taking your homework with you you know that much easier uh, giving you that much more time to uh, to study improve on your grades and all that kind of good stuff um, you know very psyched but it's so, it's so cool that this technology is out right now um, I didn't have anything like this when I was growing up so to see people no, not be able to see uh universities and and uh, and students taking advantage of this it's just amazing it's another step toward uh, towards that minority report uh, com computing uh, future that we all all want and dream of um, I just look a little bit about the costs you know, you know I think the average textbook you know on the average is about 20 not 20 is about 80 bucks or so you know, sometimes more, sometimes less. Um, I have not seen yet seen the prices for iBooks, um, but I, I'm I'm imagining that the, the price is going to be far, far below that mark um, because of the, the cost of production are almost non-existent. Um, the major cost with with regular books is the materials. Um, you know the paper and and the ink and the printing and the printing houses and the printing presses. Um, it, it's going to make it a whole lot cheaper to, to get your books for uh, for your classes now. All, all you really have to do is download them. Um, I, I see maybe a, a twenty dollar price point or or a thirty thirty five dollar price point somewhere in there. I see that being very very reasonable. But like I said again, I haven't seen that um, any of those prices yet. I haven't dug deep enough into it. Um, I will have that information for you later on um, to go ahead and digest as you will. But on the other side of the coin, um, if you don't need to publish books anymore, if you don't need to print books anymore, what, what's going to happen to those publishing houses? You know, the, the move for for the last couple of years and you know into the you know very very foreseeable future, very long into the future, is going to be um, it's all going to be digital. I mean, we're seeing that now with the Ultrabooks and the Netbooks and, um, you know, the MacBook Air. 
everything is kind of out in the cloud. Still very, very worried about that. Um, no, uh, I, I'm not real keen on the whole aspect of everything being out on the cloud. It kind of worries me a little bit because, you know, with all this hacker stuff going on, you know, Anonymous and the, the copywriting groups and the piracy groups, all that's, all your information is out there vulnerable. Um, and not just your personal information, all your media as well. So if you have a MacBook Air and you don't have an external hard drive, all that all that uh, data is, you know, right there for somebody to pluck out. Whereas if you have a, a MacBook Pro or an iMac or a desktop or anything else like that, um, it's locally stored on your machine. So if you know um, Carbonite servers go down, or if you know one of the other major um, cloud computing, cloud storage, you know, powerhouses go down or get hacked or whatever the case is, you know, God forbid, um, your data is still safe. Your your media is still safe. Um, so that's that's going to be an interesting uh, interesting thing to see what happens with, uh, with those printing houses. Uh, that probably like McGraw Hill and then you got, like, there's, there's just one off the top of my head is McGraw Hill. Um, it's a major printing house. What's going to happen with all those, all those books? Oh, you know, all those facilities. Um, you know, keep an eye out for that. Keep a heads up for that. Uh, it's definitely interesting to see the way technology affects the world. Uh, this is going to be a very, very, very prime example um, of kind of stuff going digital and everybody else suffering and benefiting at the same time. So that's very cool. Um, I got the update in iTunes already. If you haven't, go ahead and hit the uh, software update button on your old copy. Uh, go ahead and check that out. I got the forever, but you go ahead and, uh, and grab. Um, found a piece of software the other day. It's called iBoost Up, and it, it be, it's 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 a tool that's going to help remove all the um, the unnecessary. You know, data that's taking up space in your hard drive. You know, your cookies and you know, browsing history and all that stuff that's really not important. Um, on top of that, it'll also go through um, your network and make sure that your network is optimized um, to the best possible settings. And, you know, it's pretty much just a one, one or two click operation, and it goes ahead and it does it on its own. It also has a, um, um, a di uh, permissions. Checker. It'll run through your disk to make sure everything is uh, on on the up and up with you know with your physical hard drive. It's a free download. You can get it um, from their website. Uh, it's iBoostUp.com. I'll put that link down below so you can go ahead and click on over and check it out. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out. For me personally, I ran it last night. And it reclaimed about 20 gigs worth of space, which is a huge amount. Um, which I was very surprised because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very normally on the up and up with that kind of stuff, checking it out, deleting stuff as I don't need it. Um, so go ahead and definitely check that out. Definitely worth a shot. Um, what else is going on? Decided I was gonna investigate taking on the project of digitizing my. Uh, or not digital, but backing up my my DVD collection that I've accumulated over the uh, over the many years, because pulling them out in and out of the DVD case, DVD wallet sleeve thing is uh, is just destroying the DVDs. Uh, you know, this way, if if I have them on, if I go with like a NAS box, you want to do that option, I can basically be anywhere in the world and, and access my uh, my media. So. If, if there's any tips or tricks or, you know, you know where a cheap NAS box is, because um, I, I don't really have the, the um, equipment to just pull a uh, computer out of the closet that I don't use anymore. I don't really have a computer that I use anymore. I only have the one, and it, it's my everyday machine. Um, I had a, I've already done my consolidating, so there's no leftover hardware, pretty much, um, that would be capable of running this. So, any tips or tricks or good locations or cheap prices that you know about, 
hit me up, throw down a, uh, a comment in the section below. Uh, you can go to my webpage, techcruiser.zxq.net. You can go to about.me slash hdmarzo. Um, that's kind of the jump off point for everything I'm doing. There's many, many ways to get in touch with me. Uh, they're all out there. Go ahead and hit one of the links, hit one of the sites, blogs. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to this uh, this YouTube channel. The bigger subscriber audience I have, the more, uh, more opportunities I will be presented with to review products with you and for you. Um, you know, get some demo units and some review units in of anything. Um, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and get that information out to you. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any, uh, like I said, any input on the uh, on the NAS box or, or uh, you know, home media server um, that I can go ahead and look at and test out and spread the word to you guys. Uh, for right now, that's kind of all I got. Until next time, keep it real.